Welcome back guys, Cheetos back right here and I am back with another video showing my strategy. So what do I do usually is I target a table. I do five units per session, one unit per shoe per table. So I have my specific, let's say, triggers or rules to target different tables. So this is one of the table I like right now. So I'm just going to wait for the result to come and I will be able to place a bet after. All right. So if you want to know exactly how I play, you can see my email on the screen and also in the description, send me email and it'll be my pleasure to let you know how do I play exactly. Okay. So here we have the first result right now. So with this strategy, guys, I'm not playing every hands because you need to choose your spot. You know, you cannot play every single end. If you do this, you're going to become a sucker. Okay, So you need to wait, to choose your spot, and you're going to bet. So at the end of this video, like I do every single day, you will see me one five units. Okay, So you will see how you just have to wait just a little bit, and you can choose your spot after. All right? So here we go. We're going to go on the player right here. So <clears throat> you can see my balance bottom left here. It was a 505, okay, so I started from it yesterday, so five units. With This is, by the way, my low order account. I do this because 98% of the people or gamblers in old school also asking me questions or low rollers, so they relate better when, with this kind of account, you know, and with smaller bets, so that's how it is. All right, so I'm going to go to here. We're gonna stay on the player side. This is my betting progression right here on the right. Members of the group know exactly what it is. If not, when there's a minus, it means a loss. If I do a plus, I'm one, but this is my betting progression right here. So let's hope to see a player right here. Banker. So our next bet will be four. Those, those are in dollars here, so. Just gonna wait for the next column, okay? So the way I write my scorecard is by writing my own scorecards without the ties. So this is why I write here, as you can see. Columns of four with no ties, so I'm sure there's always four results, which is banker or player every Let's single see. time, okay? Nine for the banker. Banker wins with natural nine my combination. And then we have a banker, so we're gonna let that one go. Better close, good luck. <coughs> six for the player, six for the player. The tie, we have to wait. The game ends with the tie, my compliment for the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, that are open. Thank so, you. I always approach the game in terms of units, guys. So, it doesn't matter if units are a dollar, like I showed for the lower levels in that video, if it's five, ten, whatever. A unit is really a unit. You just have to decide what is your initial bet according to the bank, the, the size of your bankroll, you know? So if you're not sure, you better have a smaller bet and a big bankroll. Like doing this, you just it's just a mental thing, you know? If every time you bet, you barely see your bankroll move, you know, the, the amount of um, the money in your bankroll move, you know, that's a good sign means that the stress level will be less than it should be. Two for the player, three for the banker, extra car for the player, extra car for the <coughs> So we have banker. banker so in that situation player. right here, we cannot place a bet, so we're going to wait for the next column. Okay, so we're going to wait one, two, more result, and a third one before betting, because her trigger did not happen, so. Which is why, it's just... It's just everything I did have probably five to six different rules. You know, it's all documentation of my also documentation and of my own experience, my own eyes seeing stuff that I notice that it's not maybe good to do. So I put on the paper, I look at this, and this is how I come up with all the different rules I have. Okay, so 
All the members know exactly once they're in, they know exactly the rules, when to play, when not to play, because you need some rules, you know, you cannot just play every single hand or say, okay, now I think it's a good spot. You need documentation, you need proof that it's a good spot. Just, just don't bet just because, oh, I think it is, you know, just don't do that. All right, so we're going to wait here. All right, so now we're going to wait for the third column here. Third column's on the way. So our next bet will be four right here on my betting progression. So every time I lose my betting progression, I go down, okay? So if I lose here, I go down. So let's see what the next result is. Let's hope to see a banker so we can push a bet. If it's a player, my trigger will tell me not to bet, so we're going to have to wait again. Three for the player. So see a four banker here. Banker four versus three. Player, oh yeah, that's good. All right, all right. So banker. So now we're gonna go four on the banker. One, two, three, four. On the banker right here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Better close. Good luck. We got seven. We have the edge right now, and we have the winner. So that's our first unit. And but because of the commission, guys, you can see bottom left here with not exactly at uh, 506, but 50596. Because if when you win, if you don't know on the banker, that keeps five percent to your nine to five to one. So you win 95 percent of your bet so it doesn't matter a win is a win so now what i do i raise this and i'm gonna find another table to play on all right so here we're on the main board here um right right here i like that table with my strategy, I like with the streaks are pretty low. I don't like big, big ass streak like this, go up and down, go nuts. I like when the shoe, it's a small, small streak, consistent, you know, that's what I like. Like this shoe right here, perfect example of it. All right, so I'm gonna do on the banker here, one. So it's unit. So guys, don't look at this like it's only a dollar. That's for the lower level. Seeing as a unit, okay. Seeing as hundred bucks, it's a, a unit is a unit, okay. The important thing is that you win your five unit every single day on the daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, you know, routine way, you know. We have an eight. So players. So now we're gonna double our bet on the banker side. So I have that blue dot here. I love that app here. If you want that app, it's Notepad++. You know, I write my own stuff. I know there's other stuff, but uh, this is pretty simple. I just do always on top, so that it's gonna stick there. So I, when I place a bet, this doesn't disappear. So that's what I like about it. We have a player here. It's a bit laggy, but it's fine. So now player again. So once again, for the last time of this column on the banker here. All right. So here we go. That's going to be your bet right here on the banker. Seven, five. We need something big here. Nope. Player. So now our next bet will be four for the next column right here. Yeah, right. Our L for losing the column and win, it means sometimes I'm not going to bet even I win the column, but it's like a virtual win because I'd, my trigger did not allow me to place a bet. So L for losing. And now we just go to the second column right here. Simple as that. Player. So, yeah. Probably going to notice that when there's a big streak like this, I'm not going on it. Because the longer the streak it is, the less chance it has to be long, you know. So past three, 
you know, the chance of the streak to continue is just getting low and low. So, yeah, I can go on a streak of 20 streak, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it, you know. So that's a winning column virtually, but because my trigger didn't tell me, I didn't place the bet. So I'm gonna have to wait for the third column right there. If you have any question guys don't hesitate I got my email and uh, whatever the question is about related baccarat or gambling because you know whatever being professional gambler I will answer to you in the max of 24 7 every single day I answer all my emails which is 50 emails or 254 emails doesn't matter I make my due to answer every single one who took the time to answer me, you know? Because if you took the time to send me an email, the least I can do is take the time to answer you back. Alright, so now let's go to the third column. Let's hope to see... Probably a player here will be good for us, so we can, you know, like, we can bet. We're going to be able to place a bet after that if we see a player. So, keep track here, guys. That is my next bet right here for... Alright. When I pass the third step here, I have to win back to back to get a profit minimum here. All right, so banker trigger activated, so I cannot place a bet. I still have to wait. So, this is what is going to happen, guys, when you get in the starting shoe or something. This shoe is just starting, so streaks are not really big for now. You know, sometimes you have a big streak, you have a choppy, you know. So, give it a bit of time, and after that, the winning part will be gone, and you will be able to bet every maybe once or twice. Maybe three times sometime per column. So just give it time. Alright, so now we're gonna go four on the banker. Right here. Number nine, so now we go down to ten here. Ten here on the yeah, on the banker right here. Alright, so put minus now we're at ten here, which is going down a bit. Alright. So yeah. That's the last chance to bet in that column because columns are four results, so we're at the fourth result of the third column right here. So let's let let's hope to see a banker right here. And we have the winner right here on the 10. So when I have winner, I write plus here, winning column. So now what do we do? After reach five, we'll six get married for this. So I'm two units away. So what do I do in that case, guys? I go back to the two right here. Okay, so I go back to the second level because the second level is $2. This is, this is what I need to get my unit for this shoe, all right? So one unit per shoe. Or there's going to be some exception, but uh, we're not there yet, okay? So, All right, so we're going to go two on the banker right here to get our unit for that shoe. The exception, guys, that sometimes you can target maybe two or three units in one shot in the same shoe is if you're really deep in your levels here, like way past where I was, maybe you can do some adjustment on your bet size to, to get two or three unit profit, but... It's really, that's really going to depend exactly. Every situation is different. All right, so you can see a winner here, guys. I got my win. 506, so now we're going to go at 507 for the next shoe. So erase this. So you see, guys, it's all, once you have my strategy and my bank strategy system exactly, it's going to be really a routine, you know, exactly. It's like, all right, I win in that shoe, change shoe. It's going to be really easy to do every single day if you want to. Maybe you can't find... For me, it's easy because I'm so used to it right now. But once you get the whole of it, you know, you're going to see it's, it's not a big deal, you know. All right. So a pretty... A lot of brand new tables on the way here. I like a table already on the way. Not Maybe not this here, so... Mm. 
All right, let's go here with the Turbo 2s. Turbo 2s is good for this strategy too. Okay, some people don't like Turbo 2s, but for a strategy, it's perfectly fine. So we're gonna go here. Wait, what do we have here? Player. All right, so we can't. We cannot place the bets for now, so we're gonna have to wait just a bit. Tie. We have to wait for that. By the way, do you like my ad, guys? Eat, sleep, back, right, repeat. If you do say yes, Cheetos, I like your hat. I like it too, you know. I have a t-shirt uh, or shirt on the way. It's going to come soon, so I'm going to have the t-shirt plus the cap here. That's going to be pretty lit. All right, so I'm going to let that column go right here. I know already it's a winning column, so I'm going to put W in front. But sometimes, like I said, we have specific, I have specific rules for me and the members that want to get my strategy. You know, yeah, sometimes I'm going to say I should have bet, but don't focus on that. Just stay on the rules, okay, and everything will be fine, okay. Because I think the, the more rules you have, the more triggers you have, the more discipline you will be, and the best chance you have. Because if you have like no rules, if you're like I'm betting straight up streaks, choppy, it, it has been done before, it has been done. Everybody try this. Where are they right now? Where are they? I'm here. What, 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 where are they? They're not here. Because they didn't succeed and they were ashamed of themselves. And they were like, nobody can win. Nobody can win. Nobody can win. I'm here. I'm the only one who does that. You know? Specific rules. You know? Everyone else does that. They have no freaking rules. They're like, All right, I think I should be a player Because there's four and after three. No. Fuck this shit. I have my own rules. I have around five to six rules. They're documented with my experience and everything, you know, so I just have to keep track of it. All right, so player right here on one. That's for to reach 507. So every time, guys, you get in the shoe, you need to have in mind, okay, your unit and that unit, let's say. I have to reach 5 units, I'm at 900 bucks. I have to reach 905. Keep that number in mind to always target exactly that number here, okay? So you're not too aggressive, but you know exactly which number you have to achieve, okay? All right, so we got we got the unit on the player. So now I'm going to have 508 for the next shoe. That was an easy shoe compared to the other one, but that stuff happens. So change table. We are three units away. All right, so now the tables are on the way here that we were looking at before. Uh, so many tables, hard to look to see exactly which one. This one's, this one, this, uh, this one is pretty early too. So this one I don't like. All right, let's go here. Let's go to that table with uh, just five results for now. Come. Okay. Perfect scenario is to get in the table around 10 to 15 hands dealt already, but now, I mean, there was no other available option, so I get on that table right now. All right, so that's for to reach 508, our third unit. <clears throat> Maker, so virtual win here again. We gotta have to wait for the second column here. Oh. 
the, the deer is frozen, but doesn't matter as long as the result keep appearing on the screen. Fine. Not here to look at the dealers. I'm here to win my freaking money, baby. Show me the money, baby. Unit by unit, this is where we're gonna go. <coughs> Alright, so one more and we're gonna go up to the second column after this. All right, so that column is done. Pretty uh, four straight banker. Doesn't matter. Now we're gonna go to the next one. So let's hope to see a player here. Let's finish that uh, banker streak right there. <sighs> so this is this is how you should play, guys. Take your time. You know, I, won't, I know it can be long to watch someone do what I do, but that's just to show you what you should do. Take your time, choose your bet, you know, and of course you need my stretch, of course, but I mean, you cannot play every single and. You can bet on the player right here. Expect to win, like, all right, now I'm going to play. I want to win in five minutes. What are you doing? You should treat this as a second income and almost a 9 to 5 job. Are you going into your job and... I'm punching in, clocking in for five minutes. So you stay at your job eight to twelve hours. Is it gonna kill you to stay here for 30, 45 minutes? Come on. Let's be serious here. So banker, so now we're gonna go to on the player. Here. Four versus six, five. We need something bigger here, no? Banker. So we're gonna go at uh, our third level here, four. I really wish that dealer can be unfrozen, but that's something happened when you play online, guys. You don't have control of everything. As long as I can, I say you can see the ends dealt and the bets you're putting, and you don't get disconnect, so I have a good connection for that. Everything is fine. Seven. <clears throat> so we got the win here. So yeah, all right. So we got the win, the unit here at the third try. So let's get the hell out of here. And then tar we so we have two units left to play, guys, to target our five units, daily five units. So let's get out of here and try to find a deal over table is not frozen. So we're two units away. All right. We're back here. All right, small, small streaks on the way right there. So, all right, that dealer is. We can't see the dealer. That's a good sign. <laughs> all right. So, even if all those results are coming, guys, I'm not writing them because I'm waiting for the first result that I see from my own eyes appearing on the table. Okay. You can call it superstition or whatever, but this is how I do because I don't want to go back and rush and write, all right, player, banker, banker, you know. Take it smooth. Take it easy, you know. And first bet that you see, you write it. So I saw a banker, banker here. My rules are telling me that I can bet, so I'm going to go on the banker right here. That's for the fourth unit. All right, we got it. So one unit away, guys. We are one unit away from our five unit. All right, you see? Already. Even sometimes if, if you think that you're going to struggle, the rest of it, it will be sweet as a pie. It's going to be easy. So let's go. Final unit. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, so I was here. I don't like to go back to the same table. 
strictly superstition. All right, so I was here, so let's try to find another table. No, oh, this one here is pretty good. A lot of terrible tools, that's good for me. So we're gonna go here. This is a not non-speed table, so it's maybe probably five seconds slower. So, but doesn't matter. We're gonna stick to it. So that's the way we are right here. One more unit, guys, and we're uh, we're done for the day. Five unit. All right. Banker is our bet right here. Let's go one on the banker. <clears throat> Let's get it, baby. Let's get that money. We got it. Natural A, baby. But what a way to finish. My favorite number. All right. So we got it. So you can see, bottom left here, 510. Five, I start at 505 and 510. That's $1 per unit. So that's five units in the bank. That's that's some all I am, guys. If you, if you want me to be a mentor, if you want to deal with me, that's all I am. But of course, you can do three units, five, six, but around five units per day per session. That's the best way to go. So if you want to know anything about me, about my strategy, my betting system, progression right here, Cheetos back at gmail.com and I will see you soon. Have a good day.